One of the problems, and it's a big one, Dr. John Rush, who headed the STAR-D project, told you that most of the doctors don't use the tools that the researchers do, which says to me that when a patient walks into the doctor's office, he or she may not be getting the best treatment out there. So what's a patient to do? It's a very good question as to how do doctors get enough information, especially information from the STAR-D research project, that they can use with their clients, with their patients. And this is an issue with every illness for doctors. They are inundated with new material and new research studies, and it's hard to know how do I get the, you know, the STAR-D research to my doctor. Well, you can go online and read the STAR-D research, read the article that's on Healthy Place, learn what you can, and then give that information to your doctor. Unfortunately, the STAR-D research project was a research project, so there's not a web page where you can go and doctors can read every single element of what was going on. But it is a pretty simple idea. The doctor needs to check dosage. The doctor needs to see if a medication can be augmented with another medication. The doctor needs to see whether a new drug should be tried, and then psychotherapy needs to be involved in some way with depression treatment. Those are pretty simple concepts that the STAR-D came up with, and so you can educate your doctor, or I think that STAR-D is gonna be working quite largely in the United States to get that to their doctor, but it's up to the patient often to get the information to the person who's helping them get better.